In this video, we're going to look at how to hang an IV piggyback, otherwise known as a secondary IV infusion. So in order to do this, you first have to have a primary infusion running. So make sure that you go back and watch how to spike and prime an IV infusion first. And know that a secondary could be uh, an electrolyte, an antibiotic. There's a lot of different things you could hang here. So once you've verified your orders, you're going to get your IV med bag out of the package. And then you want to open your uh, secondary IV tubing package. Now the secondary tubing is usually much shorter than primary tubing um, and it doesn't have an attachment to go inside the pump. Once you have that tubing open, you're gonna clamp the tubing. That's always your first step. Then you'll need to spike and prime your secondary med bag. Again, you can use a trash can or the sink um, to prime over. And once you have it fully primed, you're going to clamp the tubing. Again, go back and watch the spike and prime lesson if you need more refresher on how to do this part. So once you have the tubing entirely primed, you wanna clamp the tubing and then you're going to attach the secondary tubing to the primary tubing. And usually there's a port right above the pump. That's where you want to attach it. Just make sure that you scrub the hub as well. Now there's a hook in the secondary tubing package. You're gonna get out that hook and you're gonna use it to lower the primary bag to below the level of the secondary bag. This is how the pump works to know which bag to pull from. It pulls from the higher bag. So now you can set the pump for a secondary infusion. So if you aren't sure how, make sure you check the manufacturer instructions or check with a more experienced nurse. And of course, make sure you're setting it according to the ordered rate on your MAR. If, and then make sure that you unclamp the secondary tubing before you hit start. If you're ever unsure how long to infuse a medication over, make sure that you check with your pharmacist, then document your administration and monitor the patient for effects of the meds. That's it. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.